question about, and this is a general question about um, physical abuse. I know that if people have n haven't been abused or emotional abuse mm -hmm. before, it's really we're very judgmental of people that stay mm -hmm. in situations mm -hmm. that have, and, and it baffles if they've never experienced it. it baffles, right. and I guess I feel like it's a sort of stigma. Like, mm -hmm. I, what do you think that's about? Why people don't understand, why, or why why women stay, right. or what? yeah, you know, people really judge very quickly. Abuse do not start off typically with physical abuse. There are many forms of abuse. There's verbal abuse, there's emotional abuse, there's physical abuse. There, you know, of course, there's even sexual abuse. But if we start off, if you met someone today, and they, you know, you go out on a date, and they turn around and, you know, it's verbally abusive, and they pushed you or hit you, you're not gonna go out with them again. Right. So what happens is it starts off, maybe a little comment here, a little comment there, Something you're not real sure how to take it. Have you ever heard people say, I'm not sure if I should be offended? Should I be offended? Yeah, or? You know, then it starts off with, with the person isolating you from your friends, from your family, mm -hmm. and then you're becoming more dependent emotionally on them. Right. And all of a sudden, they have the freedom to sort of tell you things that you wouldn't be hearing from anyone else. Yeah. And then the pushing, and it may start off with a joke, you know, a little push here, or a little pat here, and the next thing is a bop across the head. Yeah, yeah. And then they're so emotionally involved that they're too embarrassed to, t yeah. to tell. Yeah. They're too ashamed because they know it's not right, but they love the person. And when you love a person, you tend to tolerate more than you would if you did. Okay. On a lighter note, okay. what, what else, else have you been up to besides seeing on reality TV and S not that that's not enough. What, what else have you, been, have you been up to? Well, I've been up to a lot of things. You know, I write. You have, I have a book. book. Yes, you do. A single married woman. I'm writing on another book. Mm -hmm. I'm writing on some things around singles. You know, a lot of times people go, well, I'm not married. I'm not in a relationship. What's going on with me? And I see a lot of issues going on with singles. You know, and my thing is, why do you really want to get married? I, say, I have women all the time. I really want to be married. I want to do this. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be married. Mm -hmm. But at what cost? What are you doing in terms of selling yourself to be in a relationship? So I'm looking at some issues with women. Mm -hmm. I'm doing uh, a lot of public speaking, a lot of women's empowerment mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, I'm enjoying that. I really, really want to reach out to people and make a difference. Make a difference in someone's life. Because this platform that I'm on with the <clears throat> reality TV show is great. It's wonderful. I enjoy it. I'm having fun doing it. But unless I'm making a difference in someone's life, really, you know, why am I here? Mental health is just as important as physical health. And if we don't learn to take care of ourselves yeah. mentally, forget the physical. We can look great, we can, you know, sound great, but if we're messed up up here, it doesn't matter. Cancel Christmas. Cancel Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a question. I know your book, I know you're an expert in the single. Mm -hmm. Life, not single. I mean, you're not. But I mean, don't you know, tell the, my husband. Yeah, that. yeah. I don't want to tell your husband you're single. But you know, there are a lot of women that are dying to be married. Um, and, and and there's no judgment there. Mm -hmm. So, what you know, if I'm I'm single, so mm -hmm. say what are and this is mm -hmm. whatever. What if I want to get married? What are three things I need to do with myself? First, okay. you need to take a look in the mirror and okay. say to myself, Hey, why do I want to be with someone else. Okay. Who am I? What am I bringing to the table? Take a look at self, determine who am I, what am I bringing to the table? What am I looking for? What am I willing to tolerate and what am I not willing to tolerate? And then decide, where am I looking for this person? You know, if I don't like the clubs, so why am I in the club? Looking for a man to marry. Right. So if you don't want a man that's hanging out all night, why are you hanging out trying to find him? So where am I gonna find him then? Well, you know what? I found one, found one of the best ways to meet someone and people go, oh, God, this is so crazy. Please don't tell me church because I'm no, going to want to hear no, that. No, I'm not okay. going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I have not, you know, I go to church, but, I do, not, okay, but I do not see a lot of men waiting, you know, to find. It's a lot of women, though. But a lot of women. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. Right. <laughs> that's the problem. Right. But I say go to places where the men are. Go to sports events. Go to do some act. Get out get out in the world and do some things where men are doing things because they're not always coming to church. And then other things, do not travel in patch. You know, as women, yeah. they're like, hey girl, let's go out and let's see who we can find. Well, if you have four or five it's women, too many. it's yeah. too many. Men are not going to approach you in packs. Yeah. Not, well, <laughs> uh, but well, you know, 
shit. They should. And if they do, they're not going to be as serious because they are putting their egos yeah, on the line. The like, yeah, the whole bit. And yeah. then your girlfriend's like, yeah, it. yeah, it's just it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's too much pressure. Yeah, don't do that. So just maybe go in like twos. Two, no more than twos, you know, yeah, okay. because otherwise your chances have been now. Hey, you have, yeah. you have improved your chances to a 50-50 chance. Okay. To if you had ten people with you. Okay. So again, uh, three things: take a look in the mirror, mm -hmm. ask yourself who are you, what are you about, what am I bringing to the table. Look at where you're looking for people. You ask yourself, why am I looking for a person? Why do I need someone because I want a companion, or do I need someone to make me whole? And that's the difference. Okay. So we just talked, but I like to ask some general kind of questions, okay. and um, so I just have a few. Number one, um, who are you? I am a mother. I'm a wife. I'm a psychologist. Mm -hmm. I am a friend, a sister, a daughter. I am many things, but most of all, I'm a person that enjoys working with people. Okay. And having fun in life. Okay, that's fun. that's important. Um, what what one thing in life can you count on? I can count on change. Okay. Nothing will remain the same, and you have to be able to adapt. You have to understand that because things change, it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Okay. And a lot of times we look at things that are not always positive as, oh my God, this happened. You know, learn from every experience. What's your biggest pet peeve? Ah, a lot of pet peeves. My biggest pet peeve is people not being truthful. Those that I trust. Okay. When's the last time you cried? Oh God, I cried in it. <laughs> when is the last good movie on? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, if you had to pick one song as a soundtrack of your life, uh, what would that be? Mm -hmm. um, what is my best song? Um, you want to come back to that? Yeah, let me come back to that. Okay. Better days. Uh, better days. I love Better Days, but it's another one that I have in mind, but I'll come back to it. Okay, what does God mean to you? God is everything. That's the foundation. You know, that's the foundation of our, my man. And although I don't always, you know, throw it in other people's uh, face, you have to have spiritual grounding, mm -hmm. just like emotional grounding, and God is the basis for that. Okay. How does a, a woman know she's in love? When she feels it and she knows that she knows that she knows in spite of all the other stuff, it's more of an internal feeling than a cognitive knowing. Okay. Along those same lines, I guess, speaking from a woman's perspective in a relationship, how does a woman know when it's time to say goodbye? When she's tired of being tired. Okay. <laughs> and my last question is, um, I always ask people like, if, they, if there's a model or creed or scripture or something they live by, some people are like, to mm -hmm. their own, my own self, mm -hmm. to their own self be true, mm -hmm. or, you know, Jesus' web, or, you know, something, you know, people live by. I have one. Mine is, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. Okay. Follow, follow, me, that's me, follow me at Dr. Sherry Online, or check out my website at Dr. Sherry, uh, www.drsherryonline.com.